When you're thinking of starting YouTube this year, stop thinking. Start. Hey, it's me. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Susan. I'm a YouTuber based in Lagos, Nigeria, and you're welcome to today's video. So guys, in today's video, I'll be sharing a tutorial of how I made my new YouTube intro. I'm sure you guys must have seen it. So if you're interested and you're thinking of starting YouTube this year, which I think you should, stop thinking, start, yes. So if you're interested or you're thinking of starting YouTube this year, this tutorial is going to be of great benefit to you. So I'll show you the process, how I edit it. We are going to edit it together and let's get right into it, okay? hi guys voiceover sue here so first off we will go to pinterest and select a background that we want for our youtube intro so i wanted something with pink brown and specks of gold so i just saved the background that looked like what i wanted and i didn't stop at one so i kept on looking for different ones i wanted to have as many options as possible to pick from I saw this one i liked it but it still wasn't what i wanted so when i saw this i just knew that this is it i'm not going to search again i'll just save it the next thing is to search for your social media icon like instagram twitter and tiktok so i already have this one saved on my phone but this is like an example of how you can get yours you there are many aesthetics to choose from depending on your brand and you just save it for the picture i was adding i went to my safari and typed to remove bg so that i can remove the background of the image i searched my gallery got the image i wanted uploaded it and just clicked remove background and it did the job so all i have to do now is download it and save it to my gallery now this is what it looks like so it's easier for me to add it to my intro without having a contrast in the background next off i went back to pinterest and i just wanted to show you guys how you can get a youtube subscribe button icon or video for your intro and you have to download green screen so this one took me to youtube and this one you can't save it from pinterest so i advise that you screen record it then edit it now we are going to InShot. this is where we are going to be editing the intro it is easier and very much understandable so i clicked the youtube size then zoomed the picture to fit the frame at first is it came in video for five seconds and I just continued with it. So I went ahead to add text and all you just need to do is to click text, write your name and select the font you want. One thing about InShot is that you get restricted with the font. They don't have much fonts, but I was able to find something that I liked. So I wrote my name, then I wrote what my channel is about, beauty, fashion and lifestyle. Then for this one, I decided to use a different font from the fonts I used for my name. All I did was to zoom it in and out till I was happy with the size. I adjusted the position just so that is nice because i want this space for my picture next off i went to animation that's that circle that's dancing around yes that's where you get your animation so i wanted something for the text i didn't want it to just stay stagnant so i selected what i want select and um, set the timing and just played around with it to see how it is but i didn't like the fact that it was cut short so i 
tested it out again and it was still giving me the same thing then i decided to extend the background that's the video to 10 seconds normally your youtube intro is supposed to be 10 seconds but i wanted something shorter and i still did not get a lot of room to do good editing so i extended it to 10 seconds and now i like the in and out of the text it goes out fully next off i clicked pip that's picture in picture to add this picture you can see that because we remove the background of the picture you just place it on your video nicely without having to deal with contrast in the background so i adjusted the position of the picture from the beginning to the end played it again and i liked the way everything was So where the text of my name and what my YouTube channel is about ended, I decided to add my social media icon. Same thing, you click picture in picture, go to your gallery, select the icon and just size it up to how you want it to be. I wanted the Instagram and TikTok to be on each other. So you have to make sure you are checking that everything is balanced straight according to how you want it. I wanted animation for this one too, but I clicked, I mistakenly clicked filter, but I finally found the animation and I used the second one and just changed the time a bit. I moved the Instagram just so that it's above the TikTok instead of TikTok over Instagram, personal preference. Now I'm going to play it from the beginning and see how it is. Now that it's fine, I'm going to add my text, add my Instagram and TikTok handle. By the way, guys, if you don't follow me on Instagram and TikTok, please do well to follow me there. I share other things. I'm more consistent there than YouTube, sadly. I share things there to short short videos and clips so please do well to follow me it's same handle on instagram and tiktok and youtube the only difference is youtube doesn't have an underscore so it's easy for you to find me so by the way i decided to add an animation to the text because i don't want my icons to have animation and my text is just stagnant so i did the same thing this is me playing it back from the beginning to the end and there was a difference there's something i didn't like because the fonts at the beginning had a different color from the font at the end like the text at the end sorry so i decided to change the text to something that would be uniform i tried gray the first time i didn't like it and so i decided to try brown which is something i was looking for when i was looking for my background color so i tried the dark brown and i saw that it was nice so i changed the lower text to a lighter brown just something to contrast with the name text i went to my handle and i changed it to a darker brown I wanted to do the same thing for my icon but what it was giving me was a border and that's not what i wanted so i remember that there was a filter i mistakenly clicked that changed to color so i went back to it and i chose the filter latte or latte i hope i pronounced that right but it gave me the brown i wanted and i just increased the intensity and that was it so now i have something that looks put together i'm going to play it from the beginning to the end see that all the colors are aligning now we're going to add another picture and picture and this time i'll be adding the youtube subscribe icon video that i screen recorded so now we are going to go to max select the rectangular shape and just size it up to that shape then click chrome with chrome you'll be able to take away the green screen with the picker and just 
reduce increase the intensity a bit and increase the shadow i advise that you take the shadow to 100 and bring down the strength to like 78 so that you have a balance and now we are done with our youtube intro you can see that this is very simple and easy to achieve finally we are going to add sound i already have sounds saved to my in so i'll just pick the one i like and that's it the last thing is to split the sound where your intro ends click on the in short watermark click free remove and your intro is ready so guys now that we are done i hope you guys liked it i hope you enjoyed it i hope you'll be able to recreate your own youtube intro from this video and if you found this helpful please do well to like drop a comment subscribe please i'm going to keep begging you people subscribe please subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friend or neighbor or sister or brother or classmates whoever you know that wants to start a youtube in 2023 and is thinking of how to make a youtube intro this video will be a great benefit to you you are going to be helping somebody so guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye guys Mwah!